Good evening, I'm Craig Smith. The big day is here for Saratoga Racecourse. August 3rd was the date when it all began in 1863. Our Lynn Falsetti was there today, and Lynn, many of those people there today, excited about the Whitney too, right? Very excited. Good evening, Craig. There were cars flooding into the parking lots when we were there at Saratoga Racecourse earlier this afternoon. It was one of the most crowded afternoons of the season so far, and typically most visitors come for Travers Weekend, but there was just so much going on this afternoon, including a special cake decorated by the Cake Boss, plenty of freebies, and of course, the big race of the day, the Whitney Invitational Handicap. Crowds came out in honor of Saratoga Racecourse's 150 year anniversary today. It was Whitney Day at the track, a day that typically brings out the fans, but this year it's been a slow start. Well, historically, uh, here at the track, we know that the numbers build as we get through August and lead up to Travers. So we anticipate more of that. We think the numbers will continue to grow, and, you know, we're happy we've dealt with some weather concerns, but otherwise, we were expecting, we're getting what we're expecting. Timothy Orvis and his wife are celebrating their wedding anniversary by celebrating Saratoga's 150th. Like many, they come later in the season, but made an exception today. Well, my wife and I started coming here Travers weekend, but now we've just decided to come a little earlier. And for good reason. It was a busy day in Saratoga. Each visitor with paid admission received a free commemorative Saratoga sesquicentennial poster. Music greeted fans and... Uh, we have a $15,000 win wager where one lucky fan will have a chance to place a win bet on one horse, and if that horse wins, he will win the proceeds that come with betting on uh, putting down a $15,000 wager. Clearly some incentive to get out there today. And the birth of thoroughbred racing in Saratoga Springs happened in 1863 at what is now the Oklahoma track. Saratoga is the oldest continuously operating sports venue in the entire nation. And coming up later this half hour, we'll have more on the results from the from this afternoon's Whitney Invitational. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News.